Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I've been playing around with Odini for the past few days and I thought it would be nice to share with you what I've learned so far. So let's dive in. Let's start by creating a geometry container and inside let's create a circle to start with, give it a few subdivisions and let's clip it in the Y axis which is the axis selected by default. What we want to do is to boolean out two similar shapes so we can create a, a typical arc of gothic cathedrals. So as you can see I'm boolean, booleaning out the two shapes. One was transformed in the x-axis and now I'm using the carve node to select part of the, the shape. In this case you want to enable the second U also. And play around with the keep outside and inside. You have to find the exact numbers. So, in the next step we're going to transform the shape back to the origin. And let's also clip half of it so we can use the revolve node to create the, the mesh. In this case I am just resampling the, the curve. So we have a smoother output. And now we can finally revolve the shape around. And it's important to... The number of subdivisions you're going to give to the, this shape. Because later we, we, we need to do some maths. So let's just fuse the points. It's important and you will see why in the next steps. This is just like a merge vertices in Maya. And now let's clip it in the Z axis, negative in this, way, in this case. Let's take the time also to save out our progress. You can hit uh, Shift L to align all the nodes. Just a good way to organize your graph. So now we want to select the middle faces. And for that, I know I want to select. First, let's enable the primitives or faces this number display so we know what we're dealing with. And I want to select 4 of 14 in the range filter. In this case, if I disable the fuse node, you can see we have some issues at the top. And finally, we can just offset it by 5 in this case. And we have the selection we, we desired. Let's just delete the non-selected with the group. And now we need to create a shape to boolean out. To create the panels. So let's just transform this original shape from the boolean output. We want to set it back to the origin and scale it a bit down. Let's group uh, the bottom edges. In this case I'm going just to use the bounding regions. And we can extrude those bottom edges. Selecting the group 
and setting to global and extrude it to the grid. Now we can extrude again, but this time in the z-axis. We can just use the distance attribute. You may want to output the back, but in this case I believe I, I didn't because I needed to delete that particular polygon later on. So let's just disable the output back in the second poly extrude. And now we can finally boolean out the two shapes. So as you can see it's a bit out of place, so let's place a transform in between and move it back in the z-axis. And now we have the desired output. So one important step here is that you can output uh, the AB seams which is basically the, those edges we, where, we, where the shapes intersected. So we can now use it to extrude back by selecting the group. And as you can see, it's just extruding those particular edges. Let's just change the amount and set the scale in the Z to zero as we want a flat end to this shape. And we can also add a bit of beveling, again we're using the same group, 0 0.005 looks fine. And let's add a few subdivisions so we don't have to deal with those annoying normal issues. You still have a little bit but we can probably fix it later. So let's select the bottom edges again. In this case the keep by normals isn't, isn't working as I wanted. So I'm just using the bounding regions again. And in the next step we will extrude it. Selecting the group, setting it to global and extruding it in the y-axis in the negative y-axis. So now we want to divide 360 by 7 in the y-axis so we can duplicate the shape around and in this case the the seven is coming from the the amount of divisions we had in the original revolve it's just basic math so we divide 360 by seven in the left panel and we make it negative in the right panel by multiplying by minus one. Now we we want to fuse the points as the shapes are were not merged. And the last step would be to create those panels. But before that, let's select the the outside faces. We can just stack to group by ranges and in the second one we can set it to un uni union with existing so we can so we 
can select the both of the sides of the shape and we can also delete the the other parts once again we're selecting the bottom edges to extrude them And let's add it back to the main merge node. And as you can see, we have the remaining parts of the, the arc. So now we want to create the, the back panel to finish off the, the shape. So let's select the, um, the back face, in this case we can use keep by normals and in the Z axis set it to minus one, blast or delete the, the non-selected, let's reverse also the polygons and Group again the bottom edges to extrude it down. Let's give it a few subdivisions also. And now we can merge everything. In this case I want to copy the same transforms so we can later attach the, the designs to the back panels and as we have a fuse node in between we don't want to, to have the, the two shapes together. Let's just take the time to select a few edges to create some sort of paneling. In this case is the first time I'm going to use the, the viewport to do it. As I found this was this was much easier this it was much easier this way. So let's just uh, click on an edge and Control shift a to select the edge loop This way you have more control over the edges that get selected And now we can create a group in the viewports when you when you're in the viewport, select uh, it tab and create a group. It will automatically be added to the graph. And now we can create a dissolve node. Play around with the settings. We just want to output the, the curves. In this case, we need to dissolve non-selected. And create curves. Later I am going back to disable the, some settings and finally we can create the, the poly wire and let's go back and remove unused points. Let's just add a few subdivisions and 
we have the desired shape created. And that's basically it. Now I'm just going to walk you through the other shapes I created. This would be just too much to to fit in a tutorial. This is already going for some time. So basically I'm creating some shapes with beveling and with some curves, some lines. Merging them. And then moving them around. In the end I have this result. Creating some geometry from it and beveling out the edges. Here I'm creating this flower shape just by creating a cylinder with four sides, copying a circle, not a cylinder but a circle, and copy two points, uh, four circles, and then creating some other simple shapes too, merging it back with the back panel, and in the end we have something like this. So let me know what you guys think and if you would like to see more Odini content for the next videos. I'm still going to make uh, videos about Maya and Bifrost. So yeah, let's, let's see what's next. Thank you for watching and see you next time.